The Laville Junior Senior High School in Laville, or excuse me, in Lakeville, had to close its doors again because of water problems. The well broke down last weekend for a third time. And WSBT's Rachel Lake has been following this story all day and joins us now live in the studio. And Rachel, today was the seventh day that school was canceled due to well issues. Yeah, and Rick, tomorrow will be day eight. Crews fixed the well over the weekend. Administrators are now waiting on the results of a water test. You can see the water is working, but it's eerily quiet at LaVille Junior Senior High School. The only sound, basketballs hitting the gymnasium floor. Coach will come in the huddle after practice and tell us that we have practice at 10 o'clock and we'll kind of know, you know, okay, water must not be working because we're not going to have practice at 10 if we have school. It's been one problem after another since early last month. Wherever water is needed, we were having water pressure issues, so drinking fountains, um, kitchen, toilets. Crews replaced the pump in the well, but then the replacement failed. I believe it was a faulty pump. So again, a new pump was put in. Problem solved, right? Wrong. On Saturday morning, some coaches noticed low water pressure. We feel it's more electrical this time. Crews replaced the cables and added a new motor to the pump. There's a domino effect when you don't have school. You've got to cancel events after school. We have testing that we've had to move around several times due to these problems. Parents like Rachel Stump are understanding. It's any other repair, house repair kind of thing. It breaks when it breaks. Stump is a stay-at-home mom, but she feels for parents who have to work. If you didn't have daycare set up and your kids aren't old enough quite maybe to stay home and take care of themselves, it would be a major inconvenience. The basketball team, though, can still practice as long as they bring their own water. We just go on with our business and hopefully the rest of the school will soon be able to do the same despite the unexpected days off teachers will get paid as normal the superintendent told me the electrical repairs will cost the district thirty six hundred dollars in bond money now if the results are good with this latest round of water testing the school will open back up the staff is hoping that'll happen by wednesday okay eight missed days of school though what are they planning on doing how are they going to make up those eight days for all those students well students only have to make up five of those days the school scheduled built-in snow days so basically those five snow days will turn into five regular school days okay and they're hoping no more well problems after this yeah hopefully all right rachel thanks today